Neuromodulation, Wikipedia article audio. Neuromodulation is the physiological process by which a given neuron uses one or more chemicals to regulate diverse populations of neurons. This is in contrast to synaptic transmission in which an axonal terminal secretes neurotransmitters to target fast-acting receptors of only one particular partner neuron. Neuromodulators are neurotransmitters that diffuse through neural tissue to affect slow-acting receptors of many neurons. Major neuromodulators in the central nervous system include dopamine, serotonin, acetylcholine, histamine, and norepinephrine. Neuromodulators are known to have modulatory effects on target areas such as decorrelation of spiking, increase of firing rate, sharpening of spatial tuning curves, maintenance of increased spiking during working memory. Neuromuscular Systems Volume Transmission Neurotransmitter Systems Comparison Noradrenaline System Dopamine System Dopamine Pharmacology Serotonin System Serotonin Pharmacology Cholinergic System GABA Neuropeptides Other Uses A neuromodulator can be conceptualized as a neurotransmitter that is not reabsorbed by the presynaptic neuron or broken down into a metabolite. Such neuromodulators end up spending a significant amount of time in the cerebrospinal fluid, influencing the activity of several other neurons in the brain. For this reason, some neurotransmitters are also considered to be neuromodulators, such as serotonin and acetylcholine. Neuromodulation is often contrasted with classical fast synaptic transmission. In both cases the transmitter acts on local postsynaptic receptors, but in neuromodulation, the receptors are typically G-protein coupled receptors while in classical chemical neurotransmission, they are ligand gated ion channels. Neurotransmission that involves metabotropic receptors often also involves voltage gated ion channels, and is relatively slow. Conversely, neurotransmission that involves exclusively ligand gated ion channels is much faster. A related distinction is also sometimes drawn between modulator and driver synaptic inputs to a neuron, but here the emphasis is on modulating ongoing neuronal spiking versus causing that spiking. Neuromodulators may alter the output of a physiological system by acting on the associated inputs. However, modeling work suggests that this alone is insufficient because the neuromuscular transformation from neural input to muscular output may be tuned for particular ranges of input. Stern ETAL suggests that neuromodulators must act not only on the input system but must change the transformation itself to produce the proper contractions of muscles as output. Neurotransmitter systems are systems of neurons in the brain expressing certain types of neurotransmitters, and thus form distinct systems. Activation of the system causes effects in large volumes of the brain, called volume transmission. Volume transmission is the diffusion of neurotransmitters through the brain extracellular fluid released at points that may be remote from the target cells with the resulting activation of extrasynaptic receptors, and with a longer time course than for transmission at a single synapse. The major neurotransmitter systems are the noradrenaline system, the dopamine system, the serotonin system and the cholinergic system. Drugs targeting the neurotransmitter of such systems affects the whole system, and explains the mode of action of many drugs. Most other neurotransmitters, on the other hand, e.g. glutamate, GABA, and glycin, are used very generally throughout the central nervous system. 
The noradrenaline system consists of just 1,500 neurons on each side of the brain, primarily in the locus coeruleus. This is diminutive compared to the more than 100 billion neurons in the brain. As with dopaminergic neurons in the substantia nigra, neurons in the locus coeruleus tend to be melanin pigmented. Noradrenaline is released from the neurons and acts on adrenergic receptors. Noradrenaline is often released steadily so that it can prepare the supporting glial cells for calibrated responses. Despite containing a relatively small number of neurons, when activated, the noradrenaline system plays major roles in the brain including involvement in suppression of the neuroinflammatory response, stimulation of neuronal plasticity through LTP, regulation of glutamate uptake by astrocytes and LTD, and consolidation of memory. The dopamine or dopaminergic system consists of several pathways, originating from the ventral tegmentum or substantia nigra as examples. It acts on dopamine receptors. Parkinson's disease is at least in part related to dropping out of dopaminergic cells in deep brain nuclei primarily the melanin-pigmented neurons in the substantia nigra but secondarily the noradrenergic neurons of the locus coeruleus. Treatments potentiating the effect of dopamine precursors have been proposed and effected, with moderate success. The serotonin created by the brain comprises around 10% of total body serotonin. The majority is found in the gastrointestinal tract. It travels around the brain along the medial forebrain bundle and acts on serotonin receptors. In the peripheral nervous system serotonin regulates vascular tone. Although changes in neurochemistry are found immediately after taking these antidepressants, symptoms may not begin to improve until several weeks after administration. Increased transmitter levels in the synapse alone does not relieve the depression or anxiety. The cholinergic system consists of projection neurons from the pedunculopontine nucleus, lateridorsal tegmental nucleus, and basal forebrain and interneurons from the striatum and nucleus accumbens. It is not yet clear whether acetylcholine as a neuromodulator acts through volume transmission or classical synaptic transmission, as there is evidence to support both theories. Acetylcholine binds to both metabotropic muscarinic receptors and the ionotropic nicotinic receptors. The cholinergic system has been found to be involved in responding to cues related to the reward pathway enhancing signal detection and sensory attention, regulating homeostasis, mediating the stress response, and encoding the formation of memories. Gamma-aminobutyric acid has an inhibitory effect on brain and spinal cord activity. Neuromodulation also refers to an emerging class of medical therapies that target the nervous system for restoration of function, relief of pain or control of symptoms, such as tremor seen in movement disorders like Parkinson's disease. The therapies consist primarily of targeted electrical stimulation, or infusion of medications into the cerebrospinal fluid using intrathecal drug delivery, such as baclofen for spasticity. Electrical stimulation devices include deep brain stimulation systems, colloquially referred to as brain pacemakers, spinal cord stimulators and vagus nerve stimulators, which are implanted using minimally invasive procedures, or transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation devices, which are fully external, among others.